Kim Nguyen, and there is a huge event happening this weekend. You need to be a part of it. It's called Polo for Change. And if you want to be a part of it, I got just the way, and it'll help you look great too. It's all about the Build a Hat, Save a Life program. Just take a look at this. We've dragged, well, this is even all the hats. There's a room full of hats, and we brought them all out here because we wanted to display how gorgeous each one is. And even better is when you go online and you look at these hats and you purchase them, the money goes back into the program, and each hat comes with a story because each hat is made by a client or somebody involved with the program like beautiful Angelina here. Angelina, tell me a little bit about the hat and really your story and about your involvement with St. John's. Well, this hat I made, you know, to show how things have changed and how I've morphed. Um, I came here back in August with my daughter. I was in a domestic violence situation and um, it got to the point where I ended up having to quit my job and leave my apartment. So my mom had found out about St. John's and told me about it, and I called, and I was able to get in actually pretty fast, even with the long wait list because of my situation. And I came. Um, since then, you know, I've stopped smoking weed. I stopped drinking. Um, I've been able to basically almost finish my high school diploma. I start a new job soon, so everything's kind of working out. And my daughter gets to experience being around kids and everything, which she didn't really get to have before. Oh my goodness, that is, thank you so much for sharing that story and perfect example of what St. John's can do and what it means when you buy these hats. So I want to talk about the program in general because all of this, again, the program started by somebody who was a part of the program, the St. John's program. This is hat that she made. Tell us real quickly about the program itself, Amy. Um, Boulder Hat to Save a Life was started by Dolly, um, also known as Janessa um, Carr. She used to be a client at St. John's and had a creative outlet and wanted to work with the women to help tell their stories through a creative process. So she comes um, to work with them on Art, art Therapy Fridays. So we collaborated with her, um, kind of like at the, the Kentucky Derby. They have giant, beautiful hats, and we thought, why not have that for Polo for Change? So we had two workshops in April, hosted them, had a fun afternoon building and sharing stories with members from the circle, and these are the creations that came out of it. I love it, and they are so gorgeous, each one different, and again, uh, presenting that story about uh, how much this program can help. So who better to ask? The big man in charge, also wearing a hat, kind of presenting it. Tell us a little bit about uh, the program and why people should be encouraged to come out this weekend. Well, the program goes about just... Uh, uh, as Angeline's story is, is we women come and through their own work and we surround them with care and and all sorts of uh, help and so they uh, they get their lives back again and so Polo for Change is that opportunity where we're going to support that so that more women we can help through Polo for Change and they have all the information. I love it. So. Tickets still available, only 35 bucks. You purchase them online or on site. And I just wanted to throw out there, if you don't have the money to help, you can donate your time. They need volunteers too. So reach out to them if you're interested. All of this happening in Wilton this weekend. We'll send it back to you guys. Be a great way to spend some time. Now, thank you. You look great in that hat too, by the way. You look cute. An award-winning group that features a 